God. I feel fantastic. I feel fantastic! I want to fuck something! Um, I don't know, man. I actually had a whole thing I want to start off talking about, but then uh, we decided to watch Arrested Development. So I just want to talk about Arrested Development. And I also, uh, somewhere along the line of watching Arrested Development, things, you know, things got hazy, things got crossed, things were done, and I somehow ended up being high. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly when it happened, but at some point, it happened, and um, I kind of feel like this episode might be a little, a uh, little looser than I thought it was going to be when I first planned on sitting down today to record. Like I said, I, I, I have. I'll, I'll admit it. I have. I have a topic I had on my phone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this will be pretty funny, but now it feels like, dude, you got, that's that's what's like. Why would you, you know? What they say is that once you take one step forward that isn't who you are, <laughs> the next step can't be you either. Right? Who says that? People. I've never heard that in my life. And if that's the case, it's like, can I really just now take a step forward in another in another in another way of a step that isn't mine? Then the next step won't be mine. The next one, the next one, the next one, because I'll fumble the bet. And I was like, I really wanted to start now reading. It's really deep, man. Listen, man. Did I mention how? Did I mention how uh, fantastically high I am? You did. This, a new, this new Pink Panther bong, bro. It was worth the wait. I honestly, I I'll be I'll be quite honest. I had it. In the back burner, I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna fucking tear this company apart on the cast. <laughs> I'm gonna put them out of business. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put fucking Canada out of business. All right, that's Molino Glass Company, bro. Because I ordered from them on like the 22nd of December, and they're like, and then I remember when I was ordering, I was like, should I spend 7.99 on Expedite, which is you know five to seven days, or should I just keep the standard, which is seven to ten days. I'm like, I'll just keep the standard and be hopeful I'll get it on seven. Because what if I pay for the dollars and I still get on the seventh day? It's like, it's that's a waste. I'd be a fool. Yeah. <clears throat> Little dumb bitch I am, apparently, <laughs> what it actually meant was, all right, so you can pay us seven ninety nine, get it when you want it, or you can pay us nothing <laughs> and we'll give it to you when we fucking feel like it. I So the 22nd, I ordered it, and you're like, oh, when did you get, like, the 31st, Alex? What, you're complaining because it's a little longer? No. Like, what did you get, like, the, like, what, the, like the 4th because of holidays? No. Like, we get, like, by the 10th at least. You got by the 10th for sure. No. I didn't get it to, like, the fucking 21st of the following month when that, when I expected to get it in 7 to 10 days. And then then and then when I fucking, uh, I, <clears throat> the stuff goes through a route on the app, and it shows, like, where your transit is. Mm-hmm. And I saw that it started off in Saskatchewan. I'm like, all right, cool. <laughs> Easy flight. Just you know, go a little southeast, right? Mm-hmm. And then the, the, they chose the they chose the the transit. They thought, well, instead of going southeast, what if we go uh, just west? And they went to Vancouver, and then they went from Vancouver to Portland, and from Portland to Los Angeles, from Los Angeles to Nevada, and then from Nevada back to Los Angeles, Los Angeles, and uh, well, and heard- then after about a week of being there, they just had I got notifications saying. Like it just you know like a traffic sign like the little uh, the yellow triangle with the like exclamation point yeah got that it's like we don't know where your shit is bro sorry so then I then I get an email about five minutes later as this, as this epiphany happens I don't they don't know where my shit is my you know my baby <laughs> and it's an email from Grass City saying hey would you be kind enough to give us a review of the bong that you a thousand percent received so I lost my mind went crazy and. Was preparing after I, you know, wrote about not getting. Out, I was going to come onto this podcast and really tear them apart, but by the grace of God, they live to die another day from someone else who doesn't <laughs> get their goddamn bong on time because this thing hits so clean and so good. It's a hell of a time. <sighs> it's it's really a beautiful yeah. thing. It is. It's a. Uh, it's the biggest bong. So I guess bigger is in fact better. <laughs> um, it's pink. It's pretty cool. Got a pink diamond bowl. It's called the Pink Panther. First hit, we christened it with uh, the Pink Panther 10-hour loop. Pretty cool theme song. Now, I'm retroactively, I'm thinking, you know, we could have been real uh, tried, true film lovers and just had Steve Martin scenes playing. Then that whole, we could have just smoked. We could have just, we should have just watched the fantastic Pink Panther Steve Martin movies. We should have watched the uh, the actual Pink Panther movies. Yeah. The ones with Steve Martin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Those are the actual movies. I don't know why I specified the actual movie. That's yeah, the actual the one. Steve actually. Martin ones from the 2000s. Yeah, Those right, are I'm the sorry. ones that everything. With yeah. Leon. Yeah, yeah. It's also like, uh, you know, people think like, what's your favorite interpretation of Garfield? You're like, oh, the 2000s with Bill Murray. What other interpretation is there? Oh, you know what? They used to, they used uh, to have a, a comic strip. They did used to do that. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think, it, I think it was surpassed by the Bill Murray one. Yeah, how can you compare a drawing that doesn't speak for his How much do you voice? believe that uh, Bill Murray... I guess I do believe that. Actually. I was gonna, I was just gonna slander his good name for a second, but I guess I do believe that. I was gonna say because he apparently says that the reason why he signed on to do Garfield was because he just got like he just like read the 
letter and saw a Cohen. He's like, oh, the Cohen brothers are doing this? Yeah, fuck it. That sounds cool. Probably something fun. Well, considering and he, he agreed. Considering how he's a Wes Anderson, yeah. That makes sense. That's why I just realized that probably makes sense, too. Not to mention the fact I heard a story recently about how apparently someone was saying how it's really hard to stand by what you want to do as an actor, basically. They're saying, like, a lot of times you just have to go with the the way the, the way the trade. Yeah. And they said, unless you're, like, Bill Murray, because Bill Murray apparently still only, he doesn't have, like, an agent. He just has a voicemail box. And if it's full, it's full. You can't leave a voicemail. And he'll check him. He checks. He checks like once every three months to what movie offers are there. See, what I don't understand is the best way to go through life and actually achieve things is by not giving a shit. Yeah. But if you don't give a shit, how do you have the pull to actually go towards those things in the first place to achieve them? That'd be funny. I'm trying, funny. I'm trying to figure out how to not give a shit, but how much does it fucking fall through with anything? The cast. Imagine if Bill Murray had a cast, dude. That'd be a hot cast. That'd be a hot <laughs> cast, dude. If Bill Murray had a cast. <sighs> I guess he kind of did. I guess I guess the the National Lampoon radio show would have been kind of. Did Bill Murray even podcasting? You, I didn't know he had a radio show with them. That's awesome. It was, that's not a radio show. But he was it was that whole National Lampoon thing. He's a part of that with the radio and the fucking. They they had some singing thing that he was him and uh, the not dead but the, the the first. Well, I guess Jim's still alive. So yeah, John Belushi. I have no idea you're talking about. All right, man. I know National Lampoon. I remember the magazine. I remember the movies. But what what sing along yeah. thing are you talking? Before about? they all got poached to SNL, they were all in like some radio show they did. Uh, okay, I can't remember now. Yeah, and they had some name like the Singing Somethings. The Singing Santas. It's my, that's not what it was. But yeah, Bill Murray's pretty sick, dude. Remember when we were watching uh The Now? We were like, holy shit, Bill Murray's in this too? Yeah, Bill Murray's was crazy. phenomenal. But I was going to say, I was the reason I didn't put that up in the first place, I was going to say that um with the Garfield thing, do you, know, like, you think it's actually a true story? And I'm like, yeah, it definitely is. Because I thought for a second, what if it's just him like realizing it was a mistake and like, all right, how did I get out of this other thing an idiot? Oh, I just told him I thought it was the wrong director. But then he did two more movies. Well, I think he signed, I think he's under contract. <laughs> also, they probably threw a bag at him. Yeah, that's a good point. Who do you think I paid more? Bill Murray in Garfield or Kevin Spacey in Nine Lives? That Remember that cat movie that came out like, right exactly before he uh, yeah, yeah. was revealed to be a monster lurking in the shadows? Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yeah. So when you go on those long rants, what goes on in your brain that you don't at any point go, is what I'm saying irrelevant or stupid? That's not an insult. Because my question is, whenever I get the floor, all that's going on in my head is, this is probably stupid, this is irrelevant. How do you just keep talking? Because usually what's happening, legitimately, legitimately what's happening, is the stuff I'm saying is like three words behind what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So this is just pouring out as I'm thinking of what to say next. So I have the same... The same thing happens for me, but the only difference is as I'm three words behind, my thoughts are going, just stop fucking talking. Because by the time so I'm saying stupid. what I'm already saying here, I already know what the next thing I want to say to you is. Okay, I get what you're saying. So even though I'm, I'm behind, though, I don't know what the next thing is going to be. I just, I'm behind a little bit. Like, I'm actively viewing myself. Yeah. Keep continuing to talk and not saying anything. Nah, you guys it. get like a five, you guys got like an eight second delay, like a fucking live sporting event. All right. Everything you're seeing, there's eight seconds for the call. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's pretty badass, actually. Also, this blue diamond here, imagine it was a pink diamond like that, that, that bowl outside, that pink diamond Panther Molino glass bowl, not a sponsor. That would be pretty awesome. Maybe you guys could be a sponsor if you weren't pieces of shit who made me wait a whole month to get something I paid for. I guess I guess, I guess, guess United States dollar isn't that good to Canadians, you Canucks. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. I don't know what a Canuck is. A Canadian <laughs> person. <laughs> I never heard that before. Yeah, it's also a team, the Canucks. I don't know who the Canucks are. You're a dumb I've literally never heard that word, I don't think, until just now. <sighs> We just chop up the flow, bro. See? That's why I just had two sentences. Yeah, like, how you're playing Fruit Ninja with my ideas, bro? Remember that game? Remember Fads? Yes. You wanted to talk about uh, Arrested Development, you said. No, I didn't. I said, I said if I want to talk about it, but now all I can think about is Arrested Development. I didn't say I want to talk about Arrested Development. So let's talk about Arrested Development. This, you know, On this, this episode, get, A Brother's no, Year is. That's Robbie. Don't be podcast, Robbie. Be cool, Robbie. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. We got nine. That was only nine. First off, crazy thing, dude. Never forget. Look at the clock. Nine eleven. Nine eleven, dude. Ridiculous. Listen to Louis C.K. talk on Theo Vaughn. Eh. Listen to a lot of Louis C.K. stuff lately. I, don't, I might have been on the Theo Vaughn thing. Maybe it was on Rogie. On Rogies. Saint Rogies. Um, he was talking about. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was on Rogan. Talking about how he lived in New York during nine eleven, but he flew out to Los Angeles on nine ten. <laughs> To pitch a show, and he got a call from his wife, who just was six months who was six months pregnant at the time, and he said where they live. I forget where he said, but where they live, he said literally like if you went out our front door, mm -hmm. the direct view you saw was the two twin towers. That's crazy. And he said, so my wife called me hysterically crying. She wasn't saying anything. I didn't know what was wrong, and he's like, I was really panicking for a second. And then you know, she says turn on the news, 
And I go in there and I'm watching it. And then uh, I realize that my meeting is today <laughs> for the pitching thing. And then Joe starts laughing. I think it was Joe. Because yeah, that happened early in the morning, didn't it? Yeah. And then he said, uh, did they like, what did they send, give you time off? And he's like, yeah, they had me pitch it the next day. They had me pitch my comedy the next day. That's disturbing. I know. And then he's like, really, they gave you a whole day off. That's something. It's fucking funny. There was never an event like that prior. And their response is the 12th, you have to I be know, in man. now at like 8 o'clock in the morning. You can take today off, sure. But tomorrow morning, September 12th, you better be here. Yeah. Otherwise, we're not going forward with this idea. No, I think they might. I think the 13th might have been when the meeting was. I think they gave him the 12th. All right, you don't have to come in today. Still, I mean, like, let's all regroup for a couple of days and yeah. we'll talk about this. Yeah, we'll yeah, still have the yeah. meeting. Let's just all collect ourselves. Yeah, but I mean, hey, you know, remember remember uh, SNL went up that week? Yeah, but SNL had Rudy what, Giuliani five days? came out and was like, hey, folk, this is important to the country. <laughs> is, is it okay if we were funny tonight? What? I was saying the actual thing that happened. Oh, that's cool, bro. Yeah, that's actually makes so sense. So I forget who, but someone said, can we be funny tonight? And then Gio- Ru- Rudy Rudy Giuliani was like, yeah. uh, why start <laughs> good time now? time to start. <laughs> I said, why start now? Yeah. It's pretty badass to roast. I always uh, called him Giovanni. I'm, I'm Giovanni Ribisi. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I, he'd be a pretty... No, he doesn't, he, isn't he like a lunatic, that guy? I think I heard something recently. I was watching Gone Sixty Seconds the other day, and I was thinking the entire time, did like, just come out where he's like a lunatic? Like, damn. Sneaky Pete could have been a lot more. Dude, I really thought that because he's phenomenal in that movie. Yeah, man. Sneaky Pete should have been a great fucking What's show. What's the name of the show? Is uh, Marius yeah. Josephovich? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's actually exactly what his name is. How Marius the fuck did you pull out of your ass? I don't know what Pete's name was. I know what his name was because that was a cool name. Marius is a cool Marius name. Josephovich. I feel, kind of feel badass. I feel like I feel, I feel like I just got into. I think like I just assimilated into. A, I'm like, yo, what? Up? I think like I just became a new person. <laughs> Marius Josephovich. That's my new fucking state. My new uh, like fake name to give people. That's awesome. Yeah. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. Are you referencing that show that had all that potential and turned out to be a complete waste of time, piece of shit show? You gotta be careful. And do, now, would you think that when you were watching the really good season one, if I told you Jane Adams would join the cast and it would get worse, would you think that'd be the case? Like, no, I would have assumed it gotten better because she's really good. So most would assume. Well, would you assume that by season three, the entire show made absolutely no sense and no one watched it and it was canceled? You gotta be careful telling people your name is Marius Jovapovich, though, because when you start telling a lie, you get caught in another lie. You just yeah, lies. <laughs> You're a comment. I'm a confidence man. I give people confidence and they give me their money. Dude, I really think the problem with that show was what happened nah, with nah, Marissa Rabisi. She's the unsung hero of the Rabisi family. Clearly the same issue with Bloodline, dude. They had a, a one nah, season nah, Linda plan. Nah, Cardinelli. She's yes. the unsung hero of they that had show. clearly one season planned out. Too much Norbert Leo Burt. Butts. That's his name. Norbert Leo Butts. I would argue not enough. Not enough Norbert Leo Butts. I have a Get that? No. Oh. Pretty good wordplay, right? Not enough Norbert Leo Butts. I don't understand the wordplay there. Because <laughs> his last name is there Butts, is no but I'm there. saying his actual butt. It's fucking hilarious, dude. That's pretty. That's like highbrow. Yep. You don't think so, bro? A little, what, a little beneath you? Both those shows clearly were only planned for one season, yeah. and they got signed off, mm-hmm. and they were like, oh. Another, another one of those shows, True Detective. Yep. Everyone was like, oh, what do I do? I Here's a revolutionary idea, guys. Plan for longer. It's pretty revolutionary. Don't wrap up everything all at once and then say, oh, wait, you Fuck! There is another. There, there is another another thing to do here, and I understand that. Like, hey, maybe we won't come back for season two. But check this out. Maybe you will. What I don't understand is when you're writing, how do you, you not just hear that out? You hear what I said two. there? Yeah, I, maybe I you will that. come back for season yeah, that, two. That, that, and what I was saying would directly led. To and what I understand you just saying maybe said, we won't, won't but talking. maybe you will. Exactly. So when you're writing it, how does your brain not just think of what could possibly come next? I don't know. I'm not necessarily the best writer in the world, but everything I've ever tried to write down, I necessarily, I think of I more necessarily ideas past. am the best writer in the world. <laughs> Ipso facto. So don't you plan forward? Here's a fun fact. I do plan forward. Me Here's being a fun the worst fact. writer, I also plan yeah. forward. What's the That's fun fact? Good. The fun fact is that I, up until like two weeks ago, I didn't realize that ipso facto was really pronounced ipso facto. I, I scooted by saying ipso facto for a while. I always said in so fact though. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> in I N no. so facto. No, it's not that. It's ipso facto. It's Latin. I scooted by for <sighs> twenty Sorry. years, twenty two years being like if so facto, but it's ipso facto. What is ipso? It's fucking Latin, dude. I don't fucking know, bro. But fact is is facto English. is also Latin. Yeah, but that's like being funny. Like, hey, facto. Okay, fine. Another one. Ad nauseum. 
I don't know what that means. I thought it was always at nauseam. It's ad nauseam. I don't know what you're saying right what now. What do you mean? I've never heard at nauseam or ad nauseam. Oh my. He talked S- ad nauseam? As in cause me to be nauseous? Yeah. I've never heard that expression before. That's not possible. I refuse to accept that. I've never I've never heard of anyone not knowing what that is, and I refuse to acknowledge that you don't. Okay. <laughs> I refuse that. I refuse to acknowledge that. I don't understand it, and I refuse to acknowledge it. What are you doing? Arrested Development. I thought you were doing uh, Shane Pizza. No. <laughs> it's not even remotely what I was <laughs> I was doing I wasn't doing an impression of her voice but I was saying what Lucille says I don't remember that part all the time in, in some form or another oh, she yeah, says oh yeah that's her catchphrase basically I, will, yeah, she, yeah, she's, yeah, I don't right. understand the question and I will not answer she always just does that yeah that's the best part show, of dude. that show by far uh, yeah. literally no one no one ever says it enough I will never say it enough the best part of versus development is Lucille one. You know what's actually helped me like the show a lot more. I think how good she is. Uh, yeah. Besides that, though, I think watching David Cross's stand up because yeah. I never liked Tobias. Nice. And whenever you would make me watch the show up. in the past, though, yeah. honestly, a lot of the times I check out was Tobias's bullshit storylines. Yeah. That's, and that was really that's, that's, hey, in defense, it's pretty easy to do. But that was like what made me like not commit fully to the show. Yeah. No, I get that. But, but Jessica Walter is the best part of the show. Oh, she's phenomenal. I, I, we need to start going through her catalog. I know. She's too good in the show. Just only know her for this. <sighs> See, now now we're talking about Arrested Development ad nauseum. <laughs> it's really, though. You can never talk too much ad nauseum about Arrested Development. Yeah. My point is, I, used to, I scooted by for 22 years. You scooted by for 28 years, not even knowing what it was. In so facto. Ipso facto. Vis-a-vis. Accordingly. Accordingly. <laughs> Indy 500. Nice. Nice, man. Yeah, classic. I want to start watching that Indy show. Charles Barkley joins Justin Tremaine and Eddie Johnson to break down today's top highlights on Sirius XM NBA Today. Um, pass. Speaking, Thank you. Speaking of Charles Barkley, when's uh when's Charles Barkley gonna come in a new hit? A and B. When's the Lakers show come back? Speaking of Charles Barkley, when's the Lakers show gonna come back? You play basketball. I, 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 don't, I don't recall him basketball. donning the Lakers jersey. I never said that. I said he played basketball. I never said he played for the Lakers. What do you play for? I don't know. I know he's a player. <laughs> I know he's in Space Jam. That's my, and I'm almost certain he's in one of the Scooby-Doo cartoons. That's my entire understanding of uh, Charles Barkley. Yeah, and and like Frank Caliendo used to do uh, an impression. Impres- um, what the hell is it called? What's the word? Impersonation. Thank you. Impression. At Robert, you're talking about Frank Caliendo ad nauseum. But again, you got by for 28 years not knowing what ad nauseum. You never heard of it. And then oh, in so facto. so fact don't mean. It means like, what? then yeah. So, I told you the other night, I said when Daniel Jones is one and a, is a 100% playoff winner before they lost and got embarrassed by the Eagles, I said he's per- I said Daniel Jones is perfect in the playoffs. Ipso facto, he's the GOAT. That didn't help me understand what ipso facto means. I used it in a sentence. Yeah, and you didn't use it in a good sentence. I used it in the greatest sentence. Say it to me like I'm five. <laughs> All right. You mm-hmm. are funny. Thank you. Ipso facto, mm-hmm. you're cool. Say it to me like I'm three. <laughs> I actually don't know if I can get any lower than that. No, I get it. But but so in so facto, the way I Not thought it was so said, but it would mean the same exact thing. By the very act, or by the very fact or act thereof. So I knew what it meant. I but in so facto also implies. Now you can understand why I thought it was in so facto. Yeah, but if so facto makes more sense than in so facto. I don't see how that makes more sense. Because if thing. so, if it is so facto, it kind of has the same thing. You're just saying in so, which isn't a word. I was, if so. So good point. Good counter. If so, I'm saying is two different if, words. So is in so. But no one's ever said that. No one's ever said if so. Yes, how, they have. How often did you hear anybody go if so? <laughs> it's not cause and an end. If so is in the free. Literally, if that is the case, if so, there's a definition there. If I type it in so, they're going to say, do you mean, not, let's, see what let's, just, let's look it up. That's a little exercise. <laughs> All right. I look up ipso Latin. Got it. I look up if so. That's its own thing. It's just not if so facto. Uh-huh. But it's its own thing. Uh-huh. Now let's look up in so. Uh-huh. They're going to say, are you sure you're not a moron? <laughs> Did you mean? This would be get some re- in so many words? That's See? all you said. See? You didn't say if so either. I said if so. And it had a definition there. This is yeah. like in so if many words? Means. Yeah, exactly. In- what does in so mean? In so- is in so slang? So in so this, therefore it's a fact. It means How do you use sense. in so far in a sentence? 
What is so in a sentence? Dude, you're an idiot. It makes complete sense. In so far definition meaning? You're talking about this ad nauseum. Ad nauseum. Oh, I said ad nauseum. <laughs> you see how dumb you are? It's yeah, ad nauseum. It's AD. I thought I was going to fool with how smart you I am. Idiot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm a drunk slut. Nice, dude. That's good. That's a good hat. <laughs> Referring that, to dude. something that has been done or often repeated so often that it has become annoying or tiresome. Ad nauseum. This entire episode is us talking to some people ad nauseum. Wouldn't that be every episode? Unfortunately, yes. Can you, uh, since we're looking at words, what does fiduciary mean? I'm not looking that up, but fiduciary responsibility is like the responsibility you have to pay back your investors. and to- So fiduciary almost just means responsibility. Yes. It's your responsibility to be responsible about paying back your investors. Involving trust, especially with regard to the relationship between a trustee and the beneficiary. So you have a fiduciary responsibility or just to a your f- shareholders. Responsibility. <laughs> it's kind of redundant to say it. It's a trustee. <laughs> it kind of means you're responsible. So you, have a tr- you have a responsibility as a trustee. So it means you have a responsibility to be responsible to your trustee. <laughs> Technically, every responsibility is the responsibility for you to be responsible. That's a good point. It's a great point. We just, I think we, I think that I think I don't know I think that last bit of the conversation may have sounds may, may may have made us sound like total morons. Which which part? My part? Because my part the, the absolutely. Last, I think the last anyone listening. I think the last thirty. I think the last thirty nine seconds should be stricken from the record. <laughs> okay. So I'd like for you to all control all delete it. Okay. Nice. And get it out of your get it out of your heads. All right. That's that 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 thing, that wasn't very positive for the for the brand here. I will say though, who would have thought nine eleven was already. 20 minutes or 10 minutes ago. 11 minutes ago. Shockingly. That's crazy. And 9, 10, 11, dude. They some, you, know, you know the whole why was 6 afraid of 7 because 7, 8, 9? Yeah. Someone's got to turn that into a 9, 11 joke. Yeah. I don't know who's in charge of that. I'm not sure who I had again contact with at the 9, 11 headquarters <laughs> of the omission report. <laughs> but uh, I think there's a pretty funny joke there somewhere. Like a Rodney Dangerfield type. He can be like, hey, yo. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> it's pretty funny stuff, dude. Pretty good. I never even got to the note I want to get to, so I'd say that's a pretty accomplished little episode if I didn't actually get to anything I wanted to say we just talked. Ad nauseum. <laughs> Ad nauseum. <laughs>